Hello guys, this is Sumit here once again from Study Hub. Guys, I'm here today to help you with another question type in IELTS called statements. Guys, there is a total of 15 different types of questions, questions in IELTS. For example, the first question type is true, false, not given. Second is yes, no, not given. Third is headings. Fourth is multiple choice question. There is fill in the blank. There is fill in the blank with option. There is flow chart. There are different types of questions. Every question in IELTS has strategy. It has technique. There are certain questions that take a lot of time to solve. There are certain questions that take less time to solve. If you learn the strategies and techniques properly, your test should be finished in 40 minutes with almost everything correct, right? If you know the strategies and techniques. I have improved students from 5.5 to 8.5 in reading within six weeks. And I'm going to show you the exact same strategies that I taught those students whom I improved from 5.5 to 8.5. So guys, first question that I'm going to teach you today is called statement. There are two types of statements. First statement is called direct statement. Second is called indirect statement. These are the questions where you get a passage and then we have names of people, right? For example, that, so there is a passage, there are some statements and then we have names of people and we have to find out which person gave which particular statement, right? Because there are two types of questions, as I said, one is called direct statement, one is called indirect statement. Different people have different strategies. For example, some people read the passage first and then they look at the questions. The problem with that is if they read the passage first, then they're looking at the questions. For each question, they may have to go through the passage again and again. Some people look at the names and they try to locate the names within the passage itself, right? That strategy won't work as well because sometimes there can be three names and ten statements and sometimes there can be ten names and three statements. So names are repeated again and again and you'll be confused there. The strategy that I'm going to teach you should take you approximately one minute each question, right? You should not take any more than one minute on any question if you know the strategy. Look at this strategy, guys, and I can promise after today you will not face this particular problem. You won't find it difficult. Under the video, there will be practice resources as well, which you can take to practice. So, guys, question type is statement, right? In this particular scenario, we've got a passage, we've got some statements given by some people, and then we have some names. Names means names of people who gave the statements. Our task is to find out who said what. So guys, this particular question type is called direct statement. And then there is another one called indirect statement. Let me show you the difference between direct and indirect statement. So guys, let's look at the first statement and look at the second one. Now tell me where can you use commas in the first one, comma and inverted comma, and where should you use comma and inverted comma in the second one? Awesome. So the first one you're going to be using your commas over here and then inverted comma over here, right? And in the second one, we do not need any kind of punctuation, right? We don't need any comma or inverted comma. The reason is, guys, the first statement is direct statement and second statement is indirect statement. Guys, direct statement is an inverted comma. This is not my rule. This is not your rule. This is English grammar rule. And if English grammar rules applies to this particular question or this particular statement, it should apply to all these statements that are given here, right? For example, let's look at this first statement. So our task is, first of all, we read the, we read the heading of the passage, alternative farming methods in Oregon, right? And after that, we're going to locate all the statements in this passage. We're going to locate all the inverted commas. So we can see the first inverted comma starts from whole, wholesale and then it finishes at business. The second inverted comma starts over here, finishes here. The third inverted comma is here. The fourth inverted comma is here. The fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one and the eighth one, right? Now we've got some inverted commas. Our task is there and it still won't be very easy. You still have to read and understand. So guys, rather than reading each and every sentence, I will only be reading the statements that are in the inverted comma, within the inverted comma, nothing else, right? For example, the first statement says, wholesale changes in the way that farmers control the pest on their farm is an expensive business. So I look at keywords, changing something on the farm or by farmer 
and then best is a keyword on the farm is expensive business so changing something on the farm is expensive business the name of the person will either be half a line before or half a line after right so i'm going to say wholesale changes in the wife a farmer control the best in the farm on the farm is an expensive business so let's learn and understand the strategy or let's go through the options now so i have to keep these keywords in my mind so changing something on your farm is expensive business right uh, double advantage in new technique was it talking about double advantage in new technique no it's not expectation of end user agriculture product are they talking about end users no work on developing alternative techniques is not are they talking about alternative techniques no eating food that is that chemicals used in production is dangerous they're not talking about chemical they're not talking about production no changing current farming method is not a cheap process now changing something on your farm is expensive business and not a cheap process can this be the answer my answer is maybe i'm not gonna say yes i'm gonna say maybe because there can be a better answer results have exceeded anticipations no they're not talking about results the research done should be translated into practical projects no that's not what they're talking about either the use produces best food in the world is that what they're talking about no they're not so the answer is changing current farming method is not a cheap process. Who gave this statement? The name of person will have either be half a line before or after. And in this particular case, the name of the person is right after the statement, Tony Brown. So answer is going to be Tony Brown TV. Let me show you one question of the passage is always going to be difficult. One question, right? I'm going to show you the difficult one first, and then I'm going to get you to find the rest of them, right? So the second one is growers. Growers are finding that when they adopt, adopt, adopt more environmentally benign practices, they can have excellent results. So growers, who are growers? Growers are fi farmers. Farmers are finding when they adopt more environmentally harmless or friendly practices, they can have excellent results. The new practices benefit the environment and give growers their success. So the new practices, they do two things. One, they benefit the environment. And second is, they give growers their success, right? So what, I, what, what they are saying is, I have to understand this case properly. So one is, when farmers are finding that when they choose more environmentally friendly practices, their results are good, right? Second, it says the new practices are benefiting the environment and giving growers their success. So there are two things happening, benefiting the environment and giving growers their success, the new practices. So I have to go through the options again. There is a double advantage to new technique. Well, can this be the one? Well, double advantage, they are saying, uh, what are they saying? They are saying benefit the environment and give growers the success. New practices, new techniques. Can this be the answer? Maybe. Expectations of end user. Who is end user? End user is consumer. End user of agriculture product affect the product. Is that happening? No. The work on developing alternative techniques is not finished. Are they talking about alternative techniques? No. Eating food that is that chemicals used in production? No. That's done already. Results have exceeded anticipation. Now they're talking about results, but are they saying results are better than expectation? That's not what they're saying. They're just saying that farmers are finding that new practices are giving good results, but they're not saying that the results are better than expectation, right? Research, they're not talking about it. US produce best food in the world. That, that's not what they're talking about. So the answer is double advantage to new techniques. So if you look at the option one more time, it says the new practices benefit the environment and give growers their success. Now, who gave this statement half a line before or after? The answer is going to be Art Pims. A, B is the answer, right? Um, let's try one more. There is no way that habitual consumption of foodstuff grown using toxic chemicals of nature found on today's farms can be healthy for consumers. So there is no way that regular consumption of foodstuff using pesticides means toxic chemicals, pesticides, uh, there is no way that the food that is produced using chemicals or pesticides of nature found into this farm can be healthy. It means food that we use that is produced by using chemicals is not healthy. Who is saying that? Bill Bowler. Let's see which statement matches with this one. There is double advantage, new expectation of end user, no work on developing alternative techniques, no. Eating food that has had chemicals used in production is dangerous, can be. Eating food that has chemical used in production is dangerous to our health right is that what they are saying that's exactly what they are saying so what's the answer for this one bill polar bb now this is how you can find rest of the answers as well under the video there is a link from which you can find the pdf of 
all these questions that are based on direct statements some of them are from Alsat now some of them are from Cambridge books some of them are from here and there but you can use this particular technique and I can give you the guarantee if you use this particular technique on direct statement right it will definitely work however there is another question type called indirect statement for example so the second one is direct statement as well and this sheet is in the link you can find it from the there is a downloadable link you can find the sheet from there right this is direct statement as well gizli bears of alberta and then there is another one problems with water now in this particular scenario what's happening is there is a passage there are how many questions there are one two three four five six seven eight questions and we have three four five names eight questions five names these type of questions these type of questions are a little bit difficult right why in this particular one this is called indirect statement in this particular center type of question you will not find the inverted commas or if you do find the inverted commas you won't find more than two or three inverted commas and you will be it will be very hard for you to find the answers if you try to locate names you won't find names either because sometimes they use abbreviations for example mm instead of mike muller also the names will be will be repeated many times so you can't locate names and you cannot really locate inverted commas what should you do in these type of questions these are called indirect statements we teach these questions as well in our online courses you can check out our online courses but i'm going to be making regular videos on this particular channel subscribe this channel the next video that's going to come is for true false not given and i'm going to be teaching you these lessons over here as well but if you want someone to help us myself and my team to help you individually to improve your IELTS score you can just uh, look at our courses you can enroll in our courses as well which you can find in find some information from the description of the video but I'm gonna do my best to teach you over YouTube as well to the best of my effort or as good as I can right um, good luck guys with your preparation and I'll keep helping